Hello, and welcome back to Learn SBOM. I'm Ian, and today we will be reviewing the Trivi tool from Aqua Security, a comprehensive and versatile security scanner. Trivi can analyze container images, file systems, Git repositories, and more. It can also be used to generate SBOMs. You can install Trivi using Chocolaty, Binaries, Homebrew, or Docker. For this demo, I will install Trivi with Chocolaty. I already have it installed, but that's just the command. We can check that the tool was successfully installed and see how the tool works by bringing up the help text using the dash H flag. The help message showcases the scanning, management, and utility commands along with global flags. The scanning commands allow us to generate a detailed report showing any vulnerabilities or misconfigurations in a program. To start, let's scan a container image using the image command. Trivi then prints out this nice table which displays a list of vulnerable libraries and the severity of each vulnerability. It also provides a brief description of the problem and provides a link with even more detailed information. Here's an example CVE that it generates. The website even includes mitigation measures for the vulnerabilities. Trivi can also generate reports using a GitHub repository with the repo command. Again, it pulls up a nice table. Trivi supports a variety of output formats. These include table, JSON, SPDX, Cyclone DX, and custom templates. Here I will generate an SBOM using the SPDX format, using the dash F flag. As you can see, it generates a complete SPDX SBOM. If you would like to write this result to a file, simply use the output flag and specify a file name. In this case, our file name will be spdx-bomb.spdx. If, if we go take a look at the, the generated SBOM, you can see that it's all stored in the file. Um, it was exactly the same as what was generated. Um, and here it is. You can also scan a local project in your file directory. When using a sample Maven project, it detects all 21 of its dependencies. In this case, we'll be outputting it to a Cyclone DX format. Again, here's a full SBOM with dependencies um, of our Maven project. Trivi can also scan SBOMs. In this case, we'll take a look at the SPDX SBOM that was generated from the earlier repository. When we scan this, um, again, it pulls up the table with all the CVEs, descriptions, versions, uh, and vulnerability levels. We can also use this feature to convert SBOMs from one format to another using the same SBOM command. In this case, we'll be converting to a Cyclone DX SBOM and saving it to cdxbomb.json. And then if we go check out the saved CDX bomb, there it is, everything's in the file, all from uh, the converted uh, SPDX SBOM. Finally, we can attach vulnerabilities to a CDX SBOM using dash dash scanners vuln. Here we specify the output format as well as the JSON file name. If we take a look, we have a, uh, a list of scan vulnerabilities from that SBOM. Overall, Trivi is a powerful tool for scanning software and identifying threats. This tool can de definitely benefit users looking for a quick and easy way to keep track of vulnerabilities in their software. It also does a decent job generating SBOMs and can be a useful tool for attaching vulnerabilities to SBOMs. Thank you so much for watching.
If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to us at learnsbomb.com. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here, and then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.